Hey guys, it's Danny and in this video I'm giving the updates on what is currently Tropical Cyclone Veronica located near Australia and of course there are two cyclones active but Veronica is the one to your left while Trevor is to your right but we're not exactly focusing on Trevor but I'll try to give updates on it but we really want to know what's going on with rapidly intensifying Veronica because I mean this cyclone has been getting strength over the last few hours since the start of today basically but before we get into more details with Veronica please subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you know every time I post a new video so let's get in details with Veronica this map is actually depicting the path of it as it makes its way across moving away from Australia but probably won't really move away from Australia because it has been moving to the west and it will start moving to the southwest until it eventually starts to move south and this is the time period at which this map was actually posted and uh, of course the cyclone is strong maximum winds are 44, 45 miles per hour 10 minutes mean and the pressure is at 996 millibars and it is actually located about 400 kilometers to the northwest of Brome and could reach the Kilbani coast by the weekend and of course it could threaten communities between Port Headland and Exmouth. So this is actually a very intense cyclone that could be the strongest of the season that some persons are predicting but the expected path as I said earlier is that it could track slowly to the west southwest over the next 24 to 48 hours but afterwards there's a bit of uncertainty because this really shocked a lot of persons today as in when it became a tropical cyclone and it's been rapidly intensified I'm continuously repeating this I know but it's really just for exaggeration to, for exaggerating because this storm is really surprising and later in the week it may turn to the southward so this is where Australia could really feel some of the impact of Veronica and uh, it must be it must have a little attention you get what I'm saying so if you're in any of those areas that are to be affected please I'm begging you we don't want to hear of any loss of lives yeah it's better to lose your possessions than to lose your life because all of that can be replaced while your life cannot if you're gone you're just gone for good so life is precious it must be preserved so I'm just asking you to stay safe and I will continue to give updates on Veronica as we head throughout the week so have a fabulous day and remember to always stay weather wise